What's up guys, Twitchy here and welcome to part 16 in the Arc Server Manager videos. Today we're going to be going over player and dino level progressions, I do believe that's what it's called. Um, this part of Arc Server Manager is for people who want their dinos to get extra levels or their players to get extra levels or if they want to customize how much experience it takes to get uh, to a certain level. Um, for those of you who need the video, stick around. For those of you who don't, feel free to go back and forth in the video playlist and get something that you do need. But for now, we're going to get into it. All right, so player and dino level progression, guys. This is where you're going to go if you want to change how your character or dinos level in arc. If you're not changing anything vanilla-wise, then you don't want to mess with this at all. But if you do want to increase your levels of your player and your dinos, or how many levels your dinos can get, you definitely want to be in this spot. First thing we're going to do is check these two bad boys because we are going to be increasing the amount of levels we get, which means we're probably going to be changing the amount of max XP that we can get. Then we're going to come in here and we're going to enable the custom level progressions in both the dinos and the players. Now, some really nice things about this, of course, if you look, it stops at 205. Something to keep in mind, the last 100 levels, you can see how their background color is different. The last 100 levels are for your, like, ascension and stuff like that. So if you want to get to level 500, but you don't want to worry about ascension, then make sure that you take that into consideration. You're going to probably want to go up to 605 or whatever. All right, so we're going to go down to the bottom here, and we're just going to add a few levels manually. The little plus sign, and you can see that increment up in there. XP requirements as you go. Uh, you can then also, if you want, change the amount of Ingram points that you get in each of these levels. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to 50 just as an example. We're going to click Save. And let's say you're really happy with these. What you want to do is you want to make an export of them. The little green up arrow here on this folder. We're going to go ahead and rename the one I already have saved. Yes, we're going to replace it. We're going to reload it. Yes. And you can see at level zero, five and 50. So here's the really weird thing. In your CSV file, it starts at level uh, zero, but in your normal ARC server manager, it starts at level two. So you guys are going to have a little bit of an offset there, which a lot of times is why, like if I want to get to level 500, I end up saying I want to get to level 501 or 502 or whatever like that. Now we're going to reset these so that you guys can see we're at 205. Now, if I go back in and I import that player CSV file on a different server, it goes to 208. Now, I had a custom CSV file that I made um, that I'm going to import into this server just to show you guys how absolutely crazy you can get. But you guys can see here, you can get pretty crazy. So this one goes up to level 601. Now, if I save this again, you can see that XP changed right there to what the max XP was right here. Now again, like I said, this is a very excessive and aggressive file. You're going to level like crazy, like fast. Actually, your first day on the, on the server, you probably max level and you probably have all the Ingram points you need to unlock everything. Uh, but it's there and it's available. So if you want to go max OP, like if you're doing a creative server and you want to go crazy OP with your, with your player, that's kind of how you can do it. Um, same thing holds true for the dinos, except for Ingrams, because dinos don't have Ingrams. But you can come in here and you can do the same thing and say plus, plus, plus. I want to get these dinos up to level 95. All right. We're going to save that out. We're really, really happy with these settings. We're going to export it to the dino CSV file that I already had existing. And you can see in this that... That is there right now of course this stops at level 94 which is really weird uh, but the same thing holds true with those they don't start at level zero but the CSV file does okay and we save that out one big thing you want to make sure of always is that these two numbers your max XP matches the last field in that section okay if it's if it's matching the last field in that section then you're good to go and we're gonna save this out and if I were to start the server up right now, we would have level 95 dinos. Uh, but what if we want to get crazy with it? Let's go ahead and import in 500 levels of progression into our dinos. And a 501, save that out. 25, 25, they match. It's really that simple. 
of course, I said these these CSV files that I've in, you know imported in are extremely aggressive. Like they're stupid fast, um, and you can do that if you want, or you can take the time and go in and customize it out a little bit more to your liking, and go from there. You can leave it in, increment the the fields that you want, but once you get that set up to where you're really 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 happy with it, I would 100% recommend exporting out the CSV files. That way, you always have them and kind of go from there. That is it. That's that's this entire section um, in, in the nutshell, as it were. I hope you guys found the video at least somewhat helpful and informative, and I uh, hope to see you on the next one.